another win to get back into the top 20 but on this sort of form oh, she could continue that form for the whole tournament she will go all the way tough section of the draw not more so than next up we'll have a look at the draw in just a moment so just four second round places well, remain to be filled now Elena, six, two, six, one. what worked as planned yeah, I mean, I think I played really well and uh, didn't give her many chances because I knew, of course, she's a great player and it's going to be a tough match and I'm always ready for a battle. But it's great to be back in Stuttgart and thanks guys for coming. It's a really nice atmosphere here. You played absolutely fearless today. I mean, you're going for the lines, hitting them. Do you ever think of maybe taking too much risk I might want to play with a bit more margin or are you just somebody that believes that if you're going for the line I'm going to hit him I mean I knew against her the main thing was to step in the court and of course I missed some balls but I was trying to be aggressive uh, all the time when it was possible and uh, yeah just try to take bo uh, ball early so uh, don't give her many chances and I think it worked pretty well and finally I'm back on clay on my favorite surface <laughs> Yeah, I remember when you played the French Open, no one hit more winners than you did. That was absolutely extraordinary. You know, every match, the same thing again and again and again. Um, you know, some years afterwards, it wasn't quite working as well. What were you missing that you had back then and maybe you're finding again? I mean, it can, uh, can sound a bit strange, but I felt like I was stepping back a little bit too much in the, in the years when I wasn't playing well. And when I step in the court and kind of I play fearless like at the French Open and try to hit uh, winners, of course, not crazy, but uh, play a bit smarter. And that's what working well. Even like today, I hit many winners and it uh, gave me a good win. But it's easy to say I want to play fearless, but how do you manage fear? I mean, of course, it's not easy because obviously when you go on court, you want to win and uh, you want to uh, play well and enjoy it. But sometimes there are tough matches and sometimes when you want to win a lot, you don't play as good as if you don't think too much. You know, most people want to win a lot. There is a good reason over there that's, you know, in light blue. And the way you are playing today, you certainly have a shot at it. Yelena, congratulations. That was an awesome match. My name is Yelena Ostapenko. Awesome. Certainly was. Can't disagree with that. A stunning display of tennis skill from the world number 22. And, uh, well, this victory won't take her up probably at all, actually, but uh, she certainly has a chance of uh, making the top 20 if she can get, for the first time in Stuttgart, back-to-back -back wins in this WGA 500 tournament. That remains to be seen. But today, she simply outclassed Emma Raducanu, who, yeah, made a few too many errors, but... It was all about Aliona today and the Latvian who had come here winning only 12 matches from eight tournaments in the first three months of the year and only really had any one tournament to ride home about and that was the Australian Open. It's shown here that she's making up for last season's disappointment on the clay when she managed just one win on the clay swing in spring. And her poor record in Stuttgart before today looks like improving. She was two and four. But now she's three and four after a two and one victory in less than an hour against Emma Raducanu, the British number one. 19 forehand winners, 26 winners in total, far outnumbering the unforced errors. And she won every single opportunity when she had a break point. Simply stunning performance from me, Elena Ostapenko. Well, it's been a treat for the centre court crowd here in the Porsche Tennis Grand Prix in the evening session. We've still got one match to come. Let's have a quick look at the draw, just to confirm, as you heard and saw on the screen, it's going to be Anjou next up for Ostapenko. What a second round match that should be, but we will have some fantastic second round matches for sure. Halaj Meyer was through first today, and she will uh, face either Niemeyer or Rybakina. That will be played tomorrow, but still to come, here this evening, before we finish in Stuttgart, it's Barbora Krajcikova back on form against Lyudmila Samsonova. Stay with us for that one.